GoPros, we're recording. We are indeed, we got a horn? Yeah, yes. Sound check complete. <laughs> so good afternoon everybody. We thought we'd mix this review up a little bit again and start in the cart. Wait. <laughs> I've actually tied a tether for my GoPro around the seatbelt and now I can't put the seatbelt on. Today Mr. Jake has brought down the second diesel. The second diesel instalment on the Monkey London channel in the form of his Skoda Fabia VRS. Yep. Which are only made in a diesel. Yeah, the VRS's was only in a diesel as such. Yeah. yeah. These are a 1.9. Yeah, 1.9 diesel. And originally left the factory with... 130, give or take. So, not a massive amount. It's obviously a bit more tall because it's a diesel. Yeah. Um, and how many horsepower you got now? About 340, give or take. It was dynoed at 332, but since then, uh, boosting and the fuel has been wound up. Increased it, yeah. yeah. And what, what boost was that mapped out on the dyno at 330? Uh, I think about 2.3 bar of boost. Two, okay, so it's a lot of boost. Yeah, for a <laughs> diesel. It's crazy, man. And how much boost are you running now? Uh, just over 2.4. 4 bar, that's yeah. mad. What's that in PSI? So you've got 50, roughly four, 15 PSI to one bar, yeah. so that's 30, that's a lot, that's 37 PSI. Yeah, that's crazy, <laughs> that's crazy With man. With bigger injectors, they can run up to three bar of boost, no mad. problem. Does it smoke quite a lot out, out the back? Uh, only sort of when you're building up to boost. When you come on boost, it's all clear, it's quite a bit. Okay, fair play. Oh, fucking hell, that boost! surges turbo you're running on this is a lot bigger than the standard one yeah it's a and lot you, bigger. you were saying it's from actually from an Audi Q7 yeah I believe it's a Q7 and hybrid I'm not 100% sure on that but I believe that's what it is it's got a different exhaust manifold on this as well yeah it's got the tubular manifold from dark side obviously to match the turbo yeah uh, and it's got three inch downpipe from there cool man and three, three, inch, three inch all the yeah. way to the back and I noticed as well you had a different um, inlet manifold as well. Yeah, it's got a dark side high flow inlet manifold. Just obviously gets a lot more air in than the standard manifolds. Yeah, and then quite a, was it a KNN filter you had on the uh, front? It's an AEM. Oh, AEM filter, fair play. Yeah. And this was also on the dyno, it's 580 newton meters of torque. Yeah, when it was previously. When it was pre and now it's probably maybe about six, maybe 600. Yeah, roughly. That's crazy, so a lot of torque. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. These would have been a dual mass flywheel. Yeah. Okay. And what and what made you convert to single cheaper? Um, it was already converted when I bought it. Ah, but right. one of my previous Fabia, I converted it because a they're cheaper and b they single masses would take a lot more. Uh, a lot more a abuse. Lot more power, yeah. Of, yeah. What's the fuel economy like? Uh, it's quite good if you're just cruising around. I mean, on the way down here, I was on the motorway about 55, 60 miles. Crazy. So you got all the performance and you've also got you know decent yeah, economy if you're as driving well. Driving it sensibly, then it's good on fuel. But if you start giving it Ted, a bit of John action, yeah. it starts to drop. <laughs> so that's going to be crazy. And then 
how much are these cars to buy now? Because you're kind of saying these are quite good value now, these cars. They're sort of, you can get them for pretty decent prices. Yeah, I you. mean, you're looking sort of, for a cheapy one that's done a lot of miles, you can pick them up from anything from like sort of 500 quid, really. Which is nothing, really. No. What's the mileage on this one? Uh, 113. Okay, so it's not actually that high for one of these. No, for a diesel. Obviously, these engines, if you look after them, they just they go, go forever. forever kind of thing. Yeah, and no doubt there's someone that some on the web with half a million miles on them somewhere. Oh, yeah, definitely. Do you want to just run us through the outside stuff? So what are the wheels, Jake? Yeah, uh, they're standard VRS wheels. Uh, just got Uniroyal Rain Sport Freeze on the tyres. Um, it's got bigger Octavia VRS front discs and pads and calipers. Oh, you got bigger calipers as well? Yep, so they're 312s instead of, I think, the 256s standard. Uh, no, it's quite a decent upgrade. Yeah, yeah, quite a big size. Does definitely help with the stopping power. Stops a lot better where before on the old brakes you used to get a lot of brake fade and stuff like that. Yeah. Anti roll bar on the back, which isn't a standard thing. Uh, it's like an uprated ARB bar on the rear. Oh, cool, man. Is it adjustable? Yeah, adjustable, fully adjustable. It's on a tightest setting at the minute, so it proper keeps the back end in when you're going around corners and that yeah. keeps it all tight. And then the cheeky looking intake for the air filter in the headlight. Yeah, uh, you could buy them. The guy makes them, custom builds them for most cars. Um, yeah, it's just the only thing about it is you lose your high beam on that side. Little bit of drift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit of drift spec there. Holds the bumper on. <laughs> and all these little accents here, these are all standard VRS. Yeah, standard VRS on the Fabios, yeah. Yeah, cool, man. They're quite sort of not sort of quite sporty looking cars, aren't they? Yeah, quite factory. little sporty things. Yeah. Obviously, if you look at a standard uh, Fabia to the VRS, they are quite sporty compared to them. Cheeky looking sticker down here. Black smoke don't mean it's broke. Diesel powers. Oh, look, you can tell it's a diesel. <laughs> Jake also said he actually washed the car before he left, but obviously with the dizzles you do get a little bit of dirt. Um, so yeah, one of the things that's probably the, the downside of having a, yeah, a high, big boost diesel car, yeah. You can just about see the uh, dark side front mounted into cooler through there. Just going to give her a little start up so you guys can kind of hear what she sounds like on idle. Okay, it's got a high lift uh, Piper camshaft. So in the mornings it does idle like there's no tomorrow. Quite lumpy. Yeah, very lumpy. Powered diesel. Actually, to be fair, we drove that. Do you remember that E36 we did back? God, you sit far back. <laughs> Jesus. Getting old, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, leave yeah. back. <laughs> but yeah, we did that E36 with a 330 lug. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Do you remember? Car, that yeah, really was, nice. Yeah, car, very clean, yeah. nice install. That was rear wheel drive. So, this is my first experience in a front wheel drive. Yeah. Got that clutch. Yeah. She's heavy, isn't she? A bit Fuck. savage. God, you need a man for the <laughs> best, don't you? Yeah, Jesus. it's like doing leg day every day. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, yeah. Right, let's do it. And then with the power delivery with this, you says it goes all the way to the red line. Yeah, I mean, like most diesels run out of puff around sort of 4K. Yeah, where, very low down, don't they? Yeah, obviously where this is losing the power bottom end, sort of lower revs, it's gaining, it's gaining it top end. Yeah. So it's more like a petrol turbo car because it just literally holds the boost all the way to the limit up. Yeah. And then what is this red line to? Uh, the minute it's set to 5.3. Five, 5.3, three. Five, three, okay. But it, it did run at 5.8, but that was just a little bit high in the higher just gears. stressing it out a bit yeah, too much. Yeah, a little okay. bit. Just pushing it a bit, yeah. a bit too far. And gearbox in this is a stock VRS box? Yeah, stock 6-speed VRS box. Takes the, take, can handle the power? Yeah, it seems to be doing alright so far. It hasn't died on me yet. Right. I think when it does die, I'll upgrade it to a Quake. So obviously they're open different stand.
moves like that, didn't it? The speedo starts moving faster than the rev counter. <laughs> It's quite surreal, this car. It doesn't. I don't know if it's going to come across in camera either, but just the feel you get from the acceleration, because it's got so much torque, it is. It really does surge you, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely puts you in your seat. Yeah. Pulls, I've never had a diesel pull so quickly up a hill before. Usually when I'm in my truck putting my trailer up here, it's like, uh, <laughs> Very safe overtaking in this. <laughs> and the engine the engine is completely stock apart from you've got ARP, uh, head, 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 head studs. Yeah, head studs and nut conversion. Is that just to uh, stop the head lifting? Yeah, a lot of people when they start running hybrid turbos and they get head lift on these, it's a very common thing. That just about brings this review to a close. I want to say a massive thanks to Jake for bringing down the old diesel powers. No problem, glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I fucking did, man. <laughs> I'm gonna buy one now. I was smiling the whole way during this review. Jake's also got a cheeky little Instagram account down here. Um, so if you guys give him a little follow, really appreciate it. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give us a little like if you enjoyed it. And we look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you.